Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So, I'm not usually in the business of doing how-to videos, but it seems like lately there's been some things popping up, and this one item in particular I wanted to address because I had a lot of frustration today trying to figure out how to get the EKG slash ECG feature working for my Apple Watch Series 4. So, if you have an Apple Watch Series 4, you are probably also duped into believing that this feature was going to be available when the watch came out, uh, except for the very small print that they didn't discuss, talking about it being available later in the year. Well, they finally released the update today for the Apple Watch Series 4 only, which will allow you to use the, the ECG or EKG. Now, talking about the ECG slash EKG, they mean the exact same thing. It stands for electrocardiogram. And I used to work in the medical profession, I was an EMT for years, and everybody just called them EKGs. And it was like, well, really, it's an ECG because it's cardio with a C, not a K. Uh, so really, it means the exact same thing. So if you want to call it an EKG, call it an EKG. If you want to call it an ECG, call it an ECG. Perfectly fine. Well, <clears throat> there are two important things. One is making sure that your phone is running the proper OS. And two, making sure that your watch is running the proper OS. So the update came out today. Uh, as you probably know, to access updates for your watch, you have to do it using the watch app on your phone. So you go here. Go to general, go to software update, and mine's up to date, but you need the watch OS 5.1.2. Or if you want to be one of those other people that says it's 5.1.2, call it whatever you want. But you have to have 5.1.2 on your watch. And then you have to have the latest official release on your phone. So you go into the phone settings, you go to general, you go to software update, and make sure that you're running the latest 12.1.1 or dot one dot one, what do you want to call it? So these are the two things, it has to be the official one. I was running the beta profile. Uh, I ended up having to delete the beta profile to get the ECG feature to work and I left it so I can walk you through the setup. Uh, but if you're running the beta and it's not showing up for you, uh, then you go here, I'm trying to remember where it was at. Okay, settings, general, uh, I'm trying to remember. There was a section for profile, and in the profile it would show the beta profile, and I had to end up deleting the beta profile, resetting the phone, and then updating the official one. So that's how you do it. I can't remember where I was at though. Okay, so yeah, but if you want to make it work and you're on the beta, you're gonna have to delete the beta profile, restart the phone, and then download the official update. So now that we got that out of the way, Let's set up the EKG feature, or ECG. Now, whatever you do have it set up on your watch, so you can go, don't look. You probably saw that anyway, but whatever. Um, so you go on here, and it's this one right here. It's the little squiggly line that looks like a heart, uh, a heartbeat. And it'll say, to set up ECG, open the health app on your iPhone. So we're going to go in there. And health data. It should automatically pop up the first time. But if not, if you don't go through it the first time, then you go to health data. You go to heart. Scroll down to the bottom. And you click on electrocardiogram. And it'll say, okay, time to set up. So you can take an ECG on your Apple Watch. So set up. ECG app. So you're going to have to put in your birthday. Oh, unless y'all want to send me birthday presents. So you got to set that up. Now, it tells you how it works. How does the ECG app work? ECG records an electrocardiogram, also called an ECG or EKG, told you, which represents the electrical pulses that make your heart beat. The app checks these pulses to get your heart rate and see if the upper and lower chambers of your heart are in rhythm. If they're out of rhythm, that's atrial fibrillation, which is apparently like the most common or easily detectable uh, arrhythmia. Uh, there's normal, normal rhythm, normal sinus rhythm, and then there's arrhythmia, meaning the rhythm is not right. Oh, here we go. So sinus rhythm, the sinus rhythm results, uh, means the heart is beating in uniform pattern. AFib means that the heart is beating in, in, in reg, irregular pattern. It's the most common form of serious arrhythmia. And then you have lower high heart rate, inconclusive, and things you should know, if you cannot detect, it cannot detect a heart attack, true story, 
It cannot detect blood clots or stroke, also a true story, and it cannot detect other heart-related conditions. So do not rely on this. If you think you're having a heart attack, I mean, call 911, and you know, while you're sitting there, you can feel free to do an EKG. But uh, if you detect that you, you feel like you're, something's abnormal, go ahead and run one. That's what it's for. Uh, and of course, it says if you're not feeling well, you should talk to your doctor. But definitely don't take medical advice from me. Call a medical professional. And don't rely on this as a means for treatment. If you think you have underlying problems, see a doctor. So take your first ECG. Recording an ECG typically takes 30 seconds. First, open the ECG app on the watch. Well, we're going to go do that again. All right, so we got it open. Take an accurate ECG. Your Apple Watch needs to be snug on the wrist. Select it. Select it in settings. Currently, that's your right wrist. Well, at least it knows that much. All right, so click OK. All right, so now that I've got this set up on here, hold your finger on the crown. So time to do an ECG. 30 seconds. Okay, so it says I've got a sinus rhythm, uh, 86 beat per minute average right now. The ECG does not show any signs of atrial fibrillation. Cool. Oh, and you can even add symptoms down there. So neat. All right, and that's how you do an ECG. That's how you get everything set up. Setup is complete. Do, 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 do. And you can even set up your irregular rhythm notifications. So, heck yeah, I'm going to set that up. I uh, got my date of birth. I can do it again. Okay, no. I've never been told I have AFib. There we go. Alright, so we should be all set up now and I'll turn on notification. Alright, so we're all set up, good to go, and we're able to do ECGs on our iPhones and our Apple Watch Series 4s now. Hooray! So, if you had questions about it, now you know, and knowing is half the battle. And being able to take an EKG or an ECG on your phone and your watch is the other half of the battle. So have a healthy heart, and good luck with this. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But I wanted to pass this along because it was driving me crazy today. And now everyone knows how. So thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you all next time.